hello 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 lives a family hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you for the support thank you for the love thank you for subscribing to my channel thank you for coming back um so i'm just chilling at home and i thought let me make um this video because it's actually a continuation of the vlog that i started a while ago but i couldn't post it because i had to wait for the actual episode to air on tv so now that it has um all of all, all all of you who follow me on my social media has seen that so it's time for me to post this vlog that i started a long time ago but then i just wanted to do the, this intro just so you guys know what's going on right so i just wanted to like to give a, a a mini testimony about god's love and uh, god's love and god's faithful faithfulness um i'm actually taking a risk you know when you give a testimony you're actually poking the devil because now you're giving people hope you're giving people you're reminding people that they can actually still trust god even in everything that is happening around the world with the pandemic and everything i'm just here to let you know that god is still god he is still alive and he is still faithful in all in all his ways and his word still remains so i just wanted to like give a mini testimony about this um thingy so it all started well it started a long time ago but i just wanted to give this testimony it all started last year in jan when am i gonna post those vlogs but today it's still the 29th of um december so i think i'm gonna post it in the new year so let me see Ish, you know the dates okay but it started at the big at the beginning of 2020 um where i had my prayer session i had my time with god and i wrote things down and i remember one of the things that i wrote down was god this year which was 2020 i want to have my first appearance on tv well i have appeared on tv before but it was like you know those things where i'm just like in the background and no one cares <laughs> but yeah so one of the things that i wrote down was that god i want to make my first appearance on tv and for me like i it was actually a little thing because i i had said that even god if it's just like two seconds not not two seconds but like a an advert or something like something so small that was my prayer and i remember writing it down there is power you must know this there is power in writing things down uh, the word of God says in the book of Habakkuk, yeah. So the word of God says in the book of Habakkuk, chapter three. I think I'll put it down here. It says, "Write the vision down, make it plain, you know, and um, that whoever may may see it may run with it, though it may tarry, though it may take time, but it will come to pass." So there is the, the what I, I I'm quoting that verse to let you to remind you that there is power in writing things down while you pray for the things that you want this year write them down believe god for those things and don't let doubt fear come in in in, in the way you know what i mean so i wrote everything that i need that i wanted for 2020 and most of the things came to pass most of the things happened but obviously i can't share everything but i just wanted to share this one just to it just to ignite the faith in you just to revive the faith in you just to you know remind you that god is still able even through the pandemic god god cares about no pandemic child <laughs> he doesn't care about those things it's you and him you know what i mean so long story short i remember doing that and god made it possible god said to me god said okay when are you busy asking here for a two seconds um advert well i'm gonna give you an entire 15 minutes or whatever on tv you know what i mean on a show and i got featured on the show um raising babies 101 where i was a guest and i shot the show twice they actually called me the first time my manager my boss hala um she sent me there for the first time and the second time they called me again they're like hey we actually like what you do come come through let's shoot again so i'm still waiting for the second episode to air oh my god my house is so hot i'm still waiting for the second episode to air on tv but then the first one has so that's what you're going to see on this um video yeah i just wanted to remind you that god doesn't care about any pandemic god it doesn't matter what is happening in the world your dreams are still 
valid your dreams as like there's still it's still possible for your dreams to come true as long as you believe as long as you pray about them as long as you trust god and have faith in him that everything that you ask in his name shall come to pass so that's what i that's a that's my mini testimony i believe and i i'm i'm telling it so that i because i believe that it will change someone's life today as you watch this i believe that it will change someone's mindset it will reignite the faith and it will revive someone some way um yeah that is my testimony i don't want it to be long because the actual video is long i had the vlog and i went to the sabc and i shot and it was amazing and um people who know me very closely know that um i've been working hard and i've been going to auditions and whatnot and all in good time i believe god's timing is the best we just have to be patient and be faithful and have faith in god and know that in the way in in his way he says in 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 the right time at the right time god will make it happen i want you to believe that i want you to trust that and i want you to know that god has your back no matter what is happening as you start the year 2021 just know that god has your back and don't be afraid to dream don't be afraid to pray don't be afraid to believe again because the same god the the the, the god that you believed in back then it's still the same god even through this pandemic and he is here waiting for you to call him waiting for you to tell him what you need shut down the noise just just shut down the noise and just focus on him and he will come through for you let me not be long if i start talking about god if i start talking about god child you know um i just get carried away because he's been so amazing and so wonderful to me and i believe he can be the same to you only if you believe Thank you so much. Enjoy the video. Let me start the vlog. I give you a tadaman. Okay, guys. I really hope this vlog doesn't turn into a mess because Ugyal does not know how to vlog anymore. You see, you see, you see, things are happening now. Woo, modase. But see, but she's right. See, right. See, see, relevant. See, 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 happy. See, see, um, ha. Okay, okay. I hope this vlog um, turns out well, so I can actually post it. But obviously, I'll post it after <coughs> the episode has aired on TV. Um, but yeah, come with me. Let's go. It's got up past twelve, and I have to be there at one. It's like twenty minutes drive from here. Let's go. SABC. Jet planes in the night sky with you. Getting high in the sunrise with you. Getting through all the bad times with you. Hey guys, um, I've just arrived at the SABC studios. So, as I said, my call time is at 1. And now it's 15 minutes to 1. So I'm just going to go inside. Obviously, I think, I don't think, I don't think I'll be able to film when I'm inside. Because TV stuff. But then I just wanted to, uh, you know, just take you guys with me. I haven't been on youtube for a while so why not share this moment with you guys and um yeah let's see what i'll be able to grab here and there but then catch me on your screens <laughs> so yeah thank you jet planes in the night sky with you getting high in the sunrise with you in relation to our nature versus nurture debates. Please join me in welcoming back on Skype, educational psychologist Cara Blackie, and joining us in studio is Lemohan Janini. Oh my God. I can't watch myself. You know, and he gets excited because he knows every time he's done with something, he comes to me, mom is just going to get excited. Mm -hmm. So he's, he's loving that, yeah. How did you find your way to understanding and accepting that your child wants to be independent? I think it helped me when I actually had the, uh, this conversation with his dad. Ah. His dad was like, 
you know what, this is how he is. Like, he, uh-huh. he made me realize that there's nothing wrong. Mm-hmm. It doesn't mean that you're not there for him. Wow. He's just like that. That's how he is. Mm-hmm. And I started to nature that and allowed it to work into my advantage because I'm a very busy mom. Mm-hmm. And he doesn't even cry for me. He's just like, mom is going to, go, is going to work. She'll come back for me. So, Kara, just before we um, let, let go, how do you balance the fact that as parents, we are different individuals? I may be more clingy and you as dad may not. You two not I take. Alright. You have one and because you are the better mom, mm-hmm. you can give a shout out to your two little ones at home over there. I'd like to send a shout out to my little girl Kateko. And she was super excited right now because all her friends are gonna see this. <laughs> and my little two year old boy to be missed. Love you. Mwah. Thank you, mommy. <laughs> so Thank much. you so much for joining us. Thank you for having us. And all the best in your gospel career. Thank you so much. And Luna, thank you for joining us. Rubu, Wakabana, Lokulisabana, and of course, joining us. Thank you so thank much. You thank you, ladies. Thank you. La Tela Bamuna, Tedina, and Hola, and Lakajero, as always, Mother Man. Mona, we're raising babies 101, the toddler's edition. Kathama, we're not going to be able to do this. Yes, very tough. You need to hook it on. Uh, can we go get that? No, <laughs> it's going to show. Maybe she can get on my bra. Yeah, you're wearing one. That'll yeah. be super fantastic because. <laughs>